Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Sak- Roy and Betty Sakamoto, Caldwell Banker Sakamoto, and Kapalua, and everything else that we're in the middle of and doing. We're having a great day today, and uh, but we've got a whole lot of things we want to talk about. You know, real estate is one of them. We have Dr. Norm Esten calling in again today to talk about where we're at in Hawaii from the standpoint of the virus the number of cases that are coming, how effective what we're all doing is, and vaccinations. I think we've got to really have serious, serious talks about vaccinations. With me, of course, today is my husband, Roy Sakamoto, and uh, he might try to stick to real estate, but we're going to see. No, He's yeah. been kind of over the edge, too, on the whole, let's, let's, let's take care of one another, let's protect the field. It's not just about you. It's not just about me. It's not just about Roy. It's about the people next to us. You don't even know what the person across from you right now, what they're dealing with. And if perchance, because you refuse to get vaccinated, somehow that person gets it from you, it could totally destroy everything in their life. So we've got to really protect the field. So that's me for today, Roy. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of uh, instances where... um we were in Las Vegas, what, a uh, month and a half ago? Yes. And uh, it was interesting uh, in, in the casinos, and we did spend some time in the casinos. Yes, we did. Yeah, but uh, in the casinos, they had signs up, um, you are to wear masks unless you are vaccinated. And most of the people did not have masks on. And We did, even yeah. though we're vaccinated. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but scary because you don't know if the guy next to you is vaccinated or not, doesn't have a mask. And uh, and with I guess with this Delta variant, it doesn't matter that much. You know, you can still get the COVID. And so um, I don't know. Strange times we're living with. No, it is hard. But I do think we have to all think about it again and protect one another. I understand to a certain extent someone that has decided that after all these years they don't want to vaccinate their children for measles or mumps or chicken pox or uh, any of the other things that we were all as kids vaccinated against. And certainly there's always going to be a problem and somebody that reacts, et cetera. But this, to me, is so worldwide, and it's not stopping. It's getting worse. The Delta variant now is causing horrible things for everybody. Yeah, and it keeps mutating, too. And it keeps uh, mutating. Delta 1 and Delta 2 and... Whatever. So, But if we're vaccinated, you've got a way better chance. Now younger people are in our hospitals. The hospital in Maui already, I would say, is maxed. Pretty well taxed. So yeah. if you have a problem today, a heart problem, let's say, or anything, there's almost nowhere to go. You're going to have to go to the hospital. But there, I would be petrified no matter where I went medically in the world today that I could end up getting the virus. I mean, I might be better off just staying home and see what happens. Now, that's a horrible thing to say, not advising that to anybody, but let's all think about it. Let's talk to one another. Let's just see if we can listen. I mean, let's listen. I mean, from my standpoint, maybe I've got to open my mind again and listen to somebody talk about why they won't be vaccinated, and then they've got to listen to me thinking about their future, the future of the world, the future of Hawaii, the future of tourism. If nothing else, Let's insist that the person getting off an airplane to Hawaii is vaccinated. I mean, why not? That's not going to kill anybody. You know, I think that would be easy to do. It seems easy you think to so? me. I, I don't know. I mean, for most yeah. businesses today, why not ask for a vaccination card before the person comes through the door? And it would protect you, your employees, and everybody around you. And yet, I'm sure everybody, all of us, end up afraid that we're going to annoy someone or put someone off and we won't keep our restaurant full or we won't get our sell enough real estate or we won't do something anyway yeah enough for the moment we're waiting for norm a little bit he's going to call in about five minutes and he's going to give us some statistics and you know kind of what i consider to be really great information and uh but we'll listen to that in a few minutes yeah and not to change the subject, but one question we get from a lot of people, uh, especially from out-of-town visitors, is what are our favorite restaurants? So uh, 
I mean, this is a change of topic, but what's your favorite restaurant? Well, a couple of things right now. Our office is really close to the Ritz-Carlton, and they, like everybody, had a hard time. They were closed for a long period of time, have gotten opened up. And there's a couple of places there that I think are great for almost anyone. If you go in there around, well, if we go there sometimes early, 4.30, we're getting older. You know, everybody wants to eat at 7.30. We're good at 5 o'clock, 4.30 something. But if you go over there in the bar area, you can go and have a table. It'll be really great. There's a lot of sports up for anyone that wants to be watching it. 6 o'clock music starts. But they have really, really, everything there is great. A great burger, a great fries. They do some really spectacular sushi. And it's really good. You can share whatever you're getting. Nobody's going to make you feel like you got to order more than you do. You don't have to drink because you're in the bar. And I love that. And then they've reopened the area down near the pool, which is spectacular also, because at lunchtime you can get a simple menu, you know, Caesar salad, a burger, fish some tacos. fish tacos. It's a simple menu. It's outside. It's glorious. You it's know, so a, way it's worth it. It's the Banyan Tree Restaurant in, at uh, the Ritz Carlton at Kapalua. And it's, but you're, that's the outside part. And then nighttime, right. Banyan. Yeah. Spectacular menu there. They're serving indoors and outdoors. So, again, it's not a super inexpensive meal. But it's a great place to be, and again, the, the bar area, almost anybody are fine with that. Yeah, but, um, lots of open seating. You're not uh, crowded on top of each other. Mm-hmm. It's it's a uh, it's a fun place. Poor house right next to our office. Yeah, really great Italian food. Again, you get lots of food there. They don't mind if somebody's sharing. Pretty limited number of people, and now I think they're going to be tightening up again the number of people that they can have inside. So that's going to get harder and harder. But that's really great food, great people, family run. Very underrated. Yep, it is. Poor house. It's it's kind of a funny name, but it's uh, good food, great food, Mm -hmm. and kind of a mom and pop uh, operation. Mm -hmm. Very, very friendly. Mom and pop and the kids. And the kids. The kids are there usually, too, kind of helping out. Yeah. But what else? I mean, obviously, there's uh, what's there's, the new? There's Cane and Canoe at Montage. Spectacular. That's, that's a fun place. Yeah. And both of those, the Ritz and Cane and Canoe, have fabulous breakfast. Yes. Programs. Or wait a minute, Kihei Cafe. Yeah. Yeah, Kihei right. Cafe, located in the heart of Lahaina, is a rest. I guess owned by the same people that opened the Kihei Cafe. Down in Kihei. Yeah, down yeah. in Kihei. That's yeah. right. I'm going to be tripping up saying this. But that's really a great breakfast kind of place all day long, starting at, I think, 6 in the morning. Yeah, and fun breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, the people there were great. Everything they did was good. The owner was there, and we got to meet him and chat with him for a bit. And I guess we had met him years ago uh, when he, I think, opened up maybe one of the Roy's restaurants. Right. He opened the original Roy's on on Maui. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So so what else? Marco's. Marcos. Marcos and Kahului, one of our favorite places, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yeah. And uh, super. So food is good. Yeah. And a, place, about, and a place we kind of frequent a lot after the radio show is Tokyo Te. Tokyo Te. Anyone yeah, that hasn't Hanuku. been there. Kind of a fun place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's easy to find. Uh, love the food. And it was one of the first places that I ever went with when I was living here, which is 100 years ago now, but... Roy's parents loved that. So any chance that we were over here for something, we always went to Tokyo Te or in Lahaina. What was the restaurant, the Chinese in Lahaina? Oh, Golden that, Palace. Yeah. That was the best. Uh, Hate the yeah, fact that was that a long that time ago. Yeah. Yes, it was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. But what about real estate? Are we going to even mention it today? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's a, it's a great market that we're in right now. Uh, normally at the Maui Board of Realtors, if we find that uh, there's 500 or so escrows going at any given time, uh, it shows the market is really healthy. Well, uh, lately we've been up in the 800s, 800 escrows running, and I think uh, as of this morning there were still 700 and some odd escrows on Maui. That's which a shows lot. It's quite a vibrant that. market. It's, uh, uh, it's crazy on spots. But it's uh, it's a great time to buy. Interest rates are down. Uh, I mean, there's no excuse for not buying. No, there isn't. You know, one of the great, a, a great listing right now 
It's Elizabeth Quayle has it from our office, Caldwell Banker Kapalua. Uh, her phone number is 808-276-6061. It's located in the Pili Hall, 5311 Kupele Place, listed at 750,000, three, three, three bedrooms, two baths. Really great little house. It's going to need work, no question, but you can move in. It's somewhat move-in ready, and you can do things as you go along. You should be able to get a great mortgage on it today. Interest rates are still super low, and I would say your payment could be you know, below anything you'd pay and rent today. And also, there's a couple of, I understand, and maybe you know more about them, the first time home buyer program the county or the state has right now yeah there's the a right there's a home buyer assistance uh, program for mm-hmm. first time homeowners home buyers and uh, you know you you'll get assistance with your down payment uh, it's a great program and give us a call for more information uh, call betty at 870-7062 or roy at 870-7060 how about another new listing? It's uh, 72 Pu'u Holly Street. It's in uh, Ka'anapali Hillside. Four bedrooms, three baths. It just hit the market about three days ago. It's, uh, again, four bedrooms, three baths, a little over 3,000 square feet. And um, Kristen Kingwell has this listing. Kristen can be reached at 281-7313. 281-7313. Kristen Kingwell, and uh, ask her about 72 Pu'u Holly Street. Thought I heard maybe Dr. Eston coming in. Oops, hold on. We may have him on the phone here. We're hoping to get our updated. Uh, oh, Norm? Dr. Norm? Aloha. Dr. Norm Eston. Calling Dr. Norm Eston. Oops. Maybe we've lost him. Yep. Okay, he'll probably call back in just a minute. But, you know, that is also really a great listing, yeah, super listing, right. Art of Kanopali. 72 Pu'u Holly Street. And, uh, again, Kristen Kingwell, 281-7313. It is a little hard right now going through listings on the radio. And one of the things that I would say is you really should talk to your real estate broker, whoever it is. If you're ready to buy right now, It's a difficult market in ways because there's so little inventory, but let your agent help you. And now we do have Dr. Norm Eston on the phone. Aloha, Dr. Norm. Hey, aloha, Betty. Aloha, Roy. Good morning. Good afternoon. Isn't it? Are you out on the streets? Uh, I'm on the road. I'm uh, going from uh, one of our uh, clinics in West Maui over to our clinic in Wailea and then on the way to a Department of Health meeting to talk about the uh, latest uh, developments in the uh, pandemic and the Delta virus. Um, Unfortunately, not good news. Um, There's one hint of good news and uh, a couple of messages of caution here. Uh, One, we know that the vaccine that we've had, the Moderna, the Pfizer, and the Johnson Johnson, have been working. Um, The the bad news is they're not working as well as they used to, especially with this new Delta variant. And uh, I think uh, everybody out there is going to start to have to take this seriously uh, if they haven't been paying attention. Um, As you know, our hospitals have been filling up, and we have more and more sick people. And the problem with the Delta variant is it's causing an illness that's attacking younger people than the first time around a year ago. So uh, now we have people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and even teenagers getting affected. We've unfortunately had a couple of deaths in people who are 30 years old and in the last few days and three weeks ago they were fine. And these are, of course, people who are not vaccinated and um, the hospital is almost full and 90% of the people who are sick have not been vaccinated and this is all preventable. So I want to encourage anybody who uh, hasn't uh, taken a step here to get vaccinated to prevent this. It's, this is for real. And um, there, there are some treatments if you do get sick, but they're not reliable, and the best way is to prevent this. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're having a special vaccine clinic this Saturday. Uh, that's uh, two days from now. 
uh, at the University of Hawaii Maui campus, just like we did with the drive-throughs uh, earlier this year. Uh, we're having a special one because of this outbreak, uh, and it's from 9 to 1. Uh, anybody can come. Uh, there is sign-up, uh, please. Uh, we will take some walk-ins or drive-ins, but it's better if you sign up. And for anybody out there who's interested or knows somebody who needs a vaccine, the easiest way to get information is to go to MauiNow.com. That's the online news service, MauiNow.com, and there'll be an article on there on the front page about this UHMC clinic that just got set up today because we're very concerned about the people of Maui. Um, our case numbers are increasing every day. Our percentage of people that are positive is increasing every day. The numbers of people in the hospital is increasing. And um, we're not doing what we have to do, which is basically get vaccines and to watch our social distance and wear the mask. So I'm going to put the message out there for everybody listening uh, that if you're anywhere in public, you need to be wearing your mask not only to protect you, but to protect others so you don't spread this, because even though you are vaccinated, you can uh, carry the virus and spread it even though you don't get sick. Again, the vaccination doesn't give you 100% protection against getting anything, but it'll save you from getting into a hospital or being very sick or dying. So that's why it's so valuable. It's like a seatbelt isn't going to stop you from being in an accident, but it's going to protect you if you are in an accident you're not going to be as badly hurt and you probably won't die so um, that's the value of this vaccine um, and uh, we don't want to be catching this or spreading this so unfortunately we're going to have to go back to where we were in terms of avoiding crowds avoiding social gatherings you don't have to stay in your home yet but uh, if you go out there better be a good reason for it you got to go to a store you got to run an errand you have to see a doctor. Um, you probably don't want to be going and just socializing uh, with friends in a restaurant or otherwise. And you certainly don't want to go to a, a voluntary celebration like a birthday party or, or a wedding reception or an anniversary or something, especially where there are going to be people who uh, are unmasked or, uh, or unvaccinated. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because that's a, a, a surefire uh chance for this to spread. And, now, Norm, uh, would you like to see more and more companies, and certainly the state of Hawaii, to not allow people into the state unless they're vaccinated? Just have a vaccination card. More restaurants, more real estate offices, more everything. Don't let anyone in unless they're vaccinated. Or or you meet well, them outside I've, or something. You know, you, you can't just, we've got to start doing something extra. So I agree with you totally. The more protection, the better. Certainly a good place to start is uh, you can't uh, come in unless you're vaccinated or uh, if you do uh, come in and you're not vaccinated, you have to wear a mask at all times and maintain social distance. So I'm going to give everybody a guideline out there to go by, uh, which is uh, just remember two out of three. And the three things are being outdoors, wearing a mask, or being distanced from anybody else. So if you're outdoors, you're safe because the virus is being spread through the air. So uh, all you have to do is make sure you're wearing a mask or stay distant from people. That's if you're outdoors. If you're indoors, you really have to have that mask on at all times and avoid being close to people because you don't know who they've been around. So, you know, you may be safe. The people in that room right now may be safe, but the person you're talking to may have been in a room with a bunch of people carrying this an hour ago or yesterday or three days ago, and they're still uh, carrying it around and they're catchy. So this is not something we want to mess around with this variant here. We, this is going to get, I've got to be, Libby Char, the director of the Department of Health, got on television last week, I'm sure a lot of you saw it, and said, look, you need to prepare like we're having a hurricane. And she wasn't, you know, trying to make people anxious or, uh, scared or fearful. She was just being frank, you know. If you have a hurricane coming, you need to prepare and do certain things. And this is going to be a little stormy here for a couple of weeks. 
We're not going to have the mobility we had. We're not going to be able to go outside. We're not going to have the social discourse and interactions we had. We're going to have to rein it in like we did a few months ago. And that's what she's talking about. And and that's what I'm putting out there to everybody now in this, our uh, Maui County Division of the State Health Department is going to be saying the same thing here for the next few days. Listen, folks, we've got to tighten our belts here, and, you know, it's going to be a rough ride for a few weeks, and hopefully it's going to ease up after that. But, you know, this is a bad actor, this Delta strain, and uh, we need to do all we can to protect ourselves individually and protect each other. We're, we're right now just pretty much at the three minute warning actually we may have a little more than three minutes but i think i'd like to say and i think everything you just said now if we would ask everybody that's listening to pass it on to everybody they know and listen to people when they're trying to tell you why they don't want to be vaccinated you know let them have their say but then let's all try to convince them it's not just about them it's about all of us it's about the state of hawaii it's about Maui County, it's about Lahaina, it's about Wailuku, it's about Wailea, it's about everywhere, every person. It's about the young kids, and we've got to take care of everybody. Well, I I agree with you totally, and all these people getting sick, they're not vaccinated, and we still have a lot of people out there who think, hey, I'm invulnerable, or I'm concerned that this hasn't been tested. This is a very safe vaccine. It's been tested. There's no. There's very few problems. Uh, it's not perfect, but nothing's perfect. But it's a lot better than winding up in an intensive care unit and being on a ventilator, which is what can happen if you're not vaccinated. Or going so, to a um, hospital that's already full with people that don't have ventilators anymore. And that's going to happen all across our country soon if people don't get vaccinated, if they don't pay attention to what you're saying, Dr. Norm. They've got to listen. Yeah, so what's the info, well, again, Norm, on the uh, uh, clinic this Saturday? So uh, it's that's the University of Hawaii a Maui campus location there on Kahamano Avenue in the back under the parking, and uh, it's being put on by the Hawaii Department of Health. Uh, it's a special pod. The, the mayor is totally behind it. We have the National Guard helping, the nursing school helping, uh, the police department helping. All the agencies that have helped so far are coming together again. And to sign up and get information, just go to the MauiNow.com website on your computer. That's MauiNow, M-A-U-I-N-O-W, dot com, C-O-M. And uh, all the news stories will come up. And one of the first stories will be about this special clinic. There will be a link there to sign up and register and reserve a time for your own reserved vaccine. Fantastic. There's, uh, there's no excuse for not doing this. And meanwhile... No, and... Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah me, meanwhile, people have the opportunity to go to CVS or go to Walgreens or go to their local doctor. Go to Doctors on Call. Into, or go, come into Doctors on Call. If you're a Kaiser member, you can go to Kaiser. The, the, every physician will have this. Uh, and we'll, it's free. Uh, the office is paid for by your insurance. There's absolutely no cost or copay to the member. Um, I mean, it's fabulous. It, it, oh, it's I mean, fantastic. We have people around the world clamoring for this. Yeah. Okay, one yeah. last thing here. Now, should you want to buy real estate, call Roy Sakamoto, 870-7060, and Danny Couch is on with I Love Hawaii and I couldn't love thanks. Hawaii thanks, and its Norm. people anymore. Thanks, Norm. Thanks, Roy. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.